Hello my soccer universe. Well, after the Europa League draw was made, I am sure many English and especially Manchester United fans asked, who is Lusk? Well, let me explain. I have this channel. I am a huge Lusk fan. Uh, it, I've been supporting the team ever since I know that I'm so, uh, soccer. There's only one other team, that's Milan, that I support but it's my hometown team so this one was always always close to my heart so I think I'm in a unique position of explaining to you who LUSK is. First of all what does LUSK stand for and note it is all capital letters although in the uh, local newspaper here they also write it only the L capitalized. LUSK stands for Linza Athletic Sport Club in German, so this is Athletic Sports Club of Linz. Linz is the capital of Upper Austria. Depending on how you count it, whether you include metro area or not, it's the second or third largest town in Austria with metro area. It's pretty sure the second largest town. Uh, industrial town, there's a huge steel industry and many other things, but um, that image is slightly changing. Uh, it's become um, becomes more an economic powerhouse. It's definitely the second strongest economic region after Vienna in Austria. Um, more on Lusk. Um, Lusk was founded in 1908, so it's one of the oldest clubs, and I think it's the second oldest club not from Vienna in Austria. There's only one in Graz that is older. The club's colors are black and white. This is what a typical Lusk jersey should look like, maybe not with the red sponsor, although this is actually iconic. Red is always in there because um, red and white are the colors of Upper Austria. You have the coat of arms of Upper Austria as currently on the Lusk shirts, but typically black and white. In the Europa League we have these white with black pinstripes home jerseys. We have a black away jersey that I actually expect to be worn at Old Trafford. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, teeny bit about history, despite being a very old club, um, since the Austrian league was mostly a championship of Vienna, Austria uh, last didn't compete for the Austrian championship until uh, after the uh, Second World War. And actually did quite well. And the claim to fame for Lask is that the first team not being from Vienna, to win the championship and the Austrian Cup competition. They all did in the same year, 1965. Uh, admittedly, it was a lucky championship because the only time they were first was on the last day. Uh, and they actually, at halftime, they were only in seventh place, but then uh, got on a run and people got nervous and they got celebrated. And what's even more is that my father was 12 years at the time um, was there. And so his love for the club uh, came uh, with us. A second high period was in the 80s when they finished, I think, twice third, also in the uh, competed in Europe and had a famous win at home over Inter Milan, I think in 84, a late goal Inter Milan with uh, the likes of, you know, Zenga, Bergami, Altobelli, Rummenigge. They lost the return like 4 0, but it was a much closer affair than the final scoreline. Uh, Lask actually probably could have, should have scored a, a one or two goals. Did not happen. So that was for the longest time the European moment until this uh, season. Um, the 90s were more or less uh, financial troubles. They filed twice for bankruptcy, but had within there also a short, successful period. This was the one where I was mostly associated, uh, uh, you know, really following the team, going to almost every game uh, there. We had a lot of Norwegians, that was also kind of stuff, and then it all fell apart. 2000s, the beginning, lower leagues, lower leagues, lower leagues, going deep, then on us in a century season, uh, well, anniversary season, we go up and in 2008 we actually are... Um, after three quarters of season, first place, but uh, it was just we just got relegated, uh, just promoted. It could not all on. I think we finished only six, then uh, completely fell apart at the end of, of the season. And then a slow decline began. Uh, eventually, I think four years after being promoted, we went down again. 
we were close to being promoted and then we did not get the license because of financial terms. We had always been a concern for LASK for since I'm a fan and this is early 90s, it was always a concern does LASK have the money. And then 2013, Christmas 2013, the new uh, leadership takes over. It's based on local businesses who are focusing on local talent. Uh, in one state, and at that point, we were actually in the amateur levels. We had to spend two seasons there. They lift us up. It was a nervy games. I actually was at the away game. It was close to, to Vienna in a town. They come up. Um, Again, a little bit troublesome, but you could see that the new people are actually doing things right. They have they wanted to find a strategy, and then they have the big thing. They hire Oliver Glasner in 2015, who is now coach at Wolfsburg. Comes from the Red Bull school. He gives Lask an identity that they have until today, which is high press, high tempo, uh, super fit. So we play very workmanlike, uh, intense brand of soccer. You may or may not like that, and yeah, we, I think, after being promoted in 2017, we finished five, second, currently we are first. So, and we have a run in Europe that we never had before in our lives. Um, I think Inter was a highlight, Manchester United could be, is at least the other huge opponent that Lusk is going to play at. And so, yeah, it's... I think this is our best season, despite the championship season, but uh, we have never been as good and as consistently good. And now we're making a name in Europe as well with a squad that is worth uh, 1 20th of United's squad, if we're optimistic. So, huge story. We are all happy. We're all looking forward to that game. Uh, expectations are not high because you, ne you cannot lose anymore, to be honest. And yeah. That's a little introduction to Lusk. I can talk a lot more, but I will stop it right here. I uh, think you're in for it, right? <laughs> we are also, and we're enjoying it. And who knows what will happen come May. No one is talking about it, so I'm not gonna talk about it either. Let me know what you think about uh, Lusk, about the draw, uh, and so on. Uh, if you knew about Lusk before, um, Drop a comment below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little introduction. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Go all over if you're the first time here. I'm talking a lot about soccer, about soccer jerseys and so on. you find also a bunch of Lusk jerseys in my collection since I have quite a few. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!